Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo-Tooie! In the last episode, we got to this area, now it's time to enter the second level of the game! Glitter Gulch Mine. Fun fact, when I was... Wow. When I was younger, I, for some reason I called this Glitter Glutch Glutch Mine. I don't know why. Oh no, I'm gonna be stuck in dialogue with Jam Jar was here telling me that, hey, you can't use those springy shoes yet! I'd be like, I am sorry. D dude, get on there. Thank you. <laughs> but yes, Glitter Gulch Mine. Um, this level's alright. I mean, there's a couple of jiggies that I think are kind of boring, and there's one in particular. Uh, but we'll get to that bridge. We'll cross that bridge when we pass it. God, I don't know why the camera is just deciding to be so bad. <laughs> is the camera always this bad in Banjo? Now, before I go in there, there's a little trick you can do. There's a Jinjo under this boulder. Whoop. Oh, come on now. I know this can work. Come on. I know this can work. I know this can work. Fine. Don't work then. Jeez. I love how I'll give up, like, after only a few tries. Oh, well. Uh. <clears throat> Down we go. Into the Waterfall Cavern. Seriously, what is going on with the camera? I have never had the camera move around on me this much while playing this. I don't even know. Like, it also keeps getting super close, but I think that's because I was trying to go through a doorway there. That would probably explain it. Alright. This is an area we're technically not supposed to do yet. We're supposed to get a little special ability kind of thing and then come back. But, I say fuck that. I'm doing this now. Let's see. If, if I can remember the proper order to go. Which I think I did go. Yep. Cool. Ta-da! That was simple enough. Yeehaw! Oh! Oh! <laughs> the enemies in Glitter Gold Mine are some of my favorites just because they're so stupid. Yeehaw! Oh! <laughs> Duh. Ah. Alright. And I tend to do a lot of swimming in first person in this game. I don't know. It just feels a lot simpler to control. <clears throat> It's a little difficult to explain, but, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. But, we've already got our first Jiggy of Glitter Gulch Mine, that's nice. That, although that's about all we have, just a Jiggy. Ow! I pushed B, but he didn't attack. The frick? Oh well. Okie dokie, jump over here, there is something there that we can't do till after World 4. Oh, World 4. One of my least... Actually, probably my least favorite one in the game. I do not like World 4. Oh, well. As I fight with the camera some more. Get that triple clef. Now... Wait, yeah, that's right. I got a backflip. To get up here, then... Turn the camera. Which is, again, for some reason being really bad, and I don't know why. And Cheeto Page. Alright, that's something else we got. So now we have two of the three Cheeto Pages already. Whoa, did you see that? That was a stick of TNT that flew directly at me. That's terrifying. Alright. Did I activate that warp pad back at the start of the level? I really hope I did. I think I did, though. Yeah, I think I totally did. Alright, so next up we're going to come in here... We got some crushing things. Frick it, just run through it! Wow, that worked. Dang. I'm not used to that actually working. <laughs> Usually I have to stop once. But, you know, I just, yeah, I guess just fucking YOLOing it. You know. It's always good. Okay, we want to come up here now. There's a Jiggy over there that we're not meant to get to, like, world after World 6, but I'm going to be getting it much, much sooner than that. But, you still have to wait till after World 3. 
which is one of my favorite worlds. I love World 3. I'm not going to get these notes just yet first. I'll come over here. Where old Jam Jars is waiting on us with the next move. This makes breaking so much fun. Now listen up to how it's done. Leap on there and then hold Z. Watch Kazooie spin and drill with her head. See, that's why that's why I think it's supposed to be Z because there's a few instances where it's like if you say if you say like the um, <clears throat> way that he, we in America see it uh, say it, the rhymes don't match up sometimes. So yeah. I think it's supposed to be said like Zed. Alright. Notes galore. Is that all the notes? I do believe it is. Alright. Now, break this rock. You get an empty honeycomb piece. Nice. Now, Mumbo's house is over here. Um, But first, I'm going to go over this way. Because up here, there is a Jinjo. Two of five greens. Nice. Alright. Whoop. And up. Okay. Activate that warp pad. I sincerely hope that I remembered to hit the one at the start of the level, but I, I think I did. I think we actually have close to every note in this level so far. Let me check. Yep, only 20 more notes left in the level. That was fast. <laughs> go ahead and get this Globo. And now we're going to go down oh, this away. Ah, now, I've had plenty of opportunities that there's a, there's gonna be a Jinjo in here that we can't get, but we're be, we're gonna be getting it this level. But you know, for me, it's you. This is usually where the white one is, but this time it's purple. Hmm. Purple Jinjo. Now, <laughs> this is a section that I'm about to do that you're supposed to go get an, a move from another war, from World Three and then come back, do some splitting up action. Yeah, World 3 gives you the split up ability. I'm just gonna pop, kill you. But, the way I do it, let me turn off my light here so I can see it a bit better. I don't need your stinking lights on, game. Because I can see just fine. There you go. There's a jiggy. So free, man. Just so free. Now, I believe if you're playing this on, like, an actual console TV and all that kind of stuff, it's r it's pretty much impossible to do this jiggy now. I mean, probably not, actually. No, you can probably shoot fire eggs. Yeah, I think fire eggs would do the trick just fine. But, as I just proved, you don't need them. Alright. Now, we're going to break this boulder. And go over here. Because over here is another area. This is the Power Hut basement, right? Uh, generator cavern. Right, that was just in the Power Hut basement. Alright. First try? No. I don't want to bother with these... Ah, oh, I had it. Dang it. I don't want to bother with these uh, fire egg generators. So, I'll just do this. <laughs> Saves a little bit of time. Yahoo! Nice. We've already gotten quite a bit of jig quite a few jiggies. It's pretty impressive. Okay. Usually the way I play this level, you can pretty much do everything you need to do as Banjo and Kazooie untransformed. You can do a lot of it without ever needing to do the transformation or use Mumbo and all that stuff first. Uh can't do much in the train station yet, but I'm going to go in here anyway because there's an empty honeycomb piece in here. So let's get that. It is right here. Ta da! <laughs> we'll be dealing with the train station probably next video. Probably won't have time for it this video, but who knows? Who knows? Okay. Now to go up here and get this Jinjo that I couldn't be cool and stylish and get. That's two of seven blues. That's nice. Alright. Trying to think if there's anything else I can do. And I believe the answer is yes. There's one more Jinjo that we can get. 
And I think another, uh, the other empty honeycomb piece, too. Uh, uh, no, and a, and a first-person shooter segment. Alright, so there's still stuff to do. That's always fun. Alright. So go in this door. I just realized I forgot to put my Skype on Do Not Disturb. Hey! Black Jinjo! I believe the anti honeycomb piece is in this boulder? Yep. Cool. And that's all the anti honeycomb pieces in the level. Uh, where's the exit? Where's the exit? Exit! There it is. <laughs> I got lost for a second there. But it's no big deal. Really. It's not. Okay. Um... I guess all that's left for me to do is Benjamin Kazooie. Uh, mm. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do this. I would usually visit Mumbo first, but. Humba Wumba. What she does makes it to where I can do another Banjo Kazooie jiggy and go get that Jinjo. And do something else that I needed to do, where the, also where the last of the 20 notes are. So. Would you look at that? We are a TNT detonator box. Isn't that lovely? Although, um, you have to line yourself up with the, the, these. Just line yourself up like at the end of the string. Because if you just try to press B, you're actually just going to explode. Not blow up those and hurt yourself. It's quite unfortunate, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. Now I'm going to go this way. Um, up there is where the first person shooter segment is. We'll do that later. Because I don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> Alright. As soon as this loads up. Alright, we're good. The rest of the notes should be in this room. Which I believe they all are. Yep. So there we go. We got all the notes for the level, and we're about to do this. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Boom! Explosions are so much fun. And this thing's gonna take forever to get over there. And that exit right there is—it's gonna stop because that exit's blocked off on the other side. Which leads to, again, level 3. <laughs> okay. Lots of stuff to do with level 3 in <laughs> this level, doesn't it? Okay, now all this thing is left useful for is getting the Jinjo that's locked away in that cell. And you know what? While I'm at it, since I forgot to pick it up earlier, I'll go ahead and get this um, Globo. I, yes, I said that I did, in fact, activate this warp pad. Cool. Let's go to Mumbo's. Mm -hmm. And go back over here. Alright, alright, alright. And... Boom time. Boom! Now, I usually don't recommend trying to do this because getting through this door or these doors with this thing is really kind of annoying. But if you take your time, you can do it. Just be careful of the hee haw. Because he will try to just wreck you. Which is unfortunate. <clears throat> but there we go. That's all the uses for the transformation in this level. Well, except for blowing up the. Ow! Except for blowing up the the normal entrance to the um uh the jiggy I got earlier with the water, you're normally supposed to blow open the entrance to that, and like that way I the way I went in and left is more like a is like an alternate way to do is like a I think they more so mean you mean you want you to use that as more so of an exit than anything. To kill you. Do 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 have my grenade eggs ready? Yes. Yes, I do. 
Oh god. Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. This is Canary Mary. And in the next video, you're gonna see how evil this fucking bird can be. <laughs> you're gonna see it. Okay, it's not pretty. Come on, hurry up, get over there. Did you, so, did you guys see where there was like an old, broken down looking minecart? Like right there? She's gonna fix that up. And then I'm gonna have to race her by tapping the A button over and over again. Canary Mary is one of the most infamous parts of Banjo Tooie, but not necessarily this level. Way later in the last technical collectathon level, you know, that's when Canary Mary is really bad. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for after the Canary Mary stuff. And this, folks, is gonna be all I have for this episode of Let's Play Banjo Tooie. In the next episode, hell. See y'all then. Goodbye.